Skis, Lars here, aka Motobro, and today I'm going to be running you through how to do an oil change on your SSR pit bike. Any year, they should all be the same, so let's do this. I got 2015, and I'm going to run you through it right now. Let's go. First, you need a 17 mil socket. Then you're going to want to have a funnel, any type of funnel. You can even make one if you wanted to. Then you're going to want a container. Yeah, mine's pretty dirty, but you can use anything, but I just use this. Then you're going to need a Gatorade bottle or any type of bottle that can hold a liquid. And last, you're going to want some oil. I like to use 10W40. Uh, if you have an SSR, I recommend using 10W40, non-synthetic. And make sure it's four-stroke oil, motorcycle. Also, a piece of cardboard or something to lay under your bike so if any oil spills, it won't get on your beautiful floor. Alright, so once you got your 17 mil, your funnel, your container, your bottle, and your oil to do the oil change, then you're ready to do your oil change. Alright, once you get your SSR bike with the cardboard under the bike, you should have your 17 mil and your container right by your side ready to do the oil change. Alright, at this point you're going to want to take a look at your motor and go to the under part of it where you'll see a bolt right there. If you guys can see that right there. And you're going to want to unscrew it. Alright, now you're going to want to grab your 17 mil and loosen the bolt. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tighty. The technique I like to use to get the least amount of oil on your floor, make sure you have your container ready right under it. As you can see, it's right here. And then loosen it slowly until it's at the very edge. And then you want to quickly just like turn it a little and pull it and then have the container ready. So let me move my GoPro. Ready? Boom. And it's out. So you got to be pretty quick. And now you just let the oil drain. Alright, so like I was saying, you want to move it back and forth almost. And get all the oil out. Because as you can see, a lot more is dripping out now. Alright, so now since all the oil is out, you're going to want to put your bolt back in. Remember, lefty loosey, righty tidy. It's a little slippery. Make sure she's nice and snug. And you're all ready for step two, putting the new oil in. Let's do it. All right, so now you're gonna wanna go back to your motor and there's gonna be a little dipstick. You're gonna wanna unscrew it. Oh, don't do that. And then you wanna put your funnel in. Now you're gonna to wanna to put your oil into the funnel. I already have already done that and I forgot to hit record, so I'm sorry, but all you do is take your one quart bottle, dump it in until it's all empty. Once you do that, you wanna take your funnel out, watch out, it might drip a little, and you wanna put your dipstick back in and tighten it up, and then she's ready to start up again. All right guys, now since you guys completed your oil chains, congratulations, if this was your first time, I hope this video helped you out. Now it's time to pull some wheelies. You can start her up now. And let's go. Wheelie time. Alrighty guys, I hope you guys liked that video. Thank you for tuning along. I hope this video helped you guys out in your first oil change. If it did, don't forget to hit the like button. If you want more, subscribe. Motobro out. Have a wonderful day. Stay motivated, guys. Peace.